Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario 64 where today we have got a very, very special episode planned for you guys today. We are going to be playing the top 10 hardest stars in the game. And oh boy, I'm looking forward to that. So these stars are based on my own opinion. Uh, and that's pretty much that. And I've ranked them sort of based on how hard it is to do these stars in one go. And because I don't expect to do any of these stars in one go. Oh, maybe like number 10, number 9 maybe, but most of these stars I expect to really, really struggle. So, guys, uh, to, <laughs> hey, you may have noticed, you can see my face. Yes, hello. Well, this is the first time I've done a face reveal on my channel, so... Hello, this is me. Hello. <laughs> this is me. Yes, Stevie J, SJ369, whatever you want to call me. Yes, I look nothing like my me in Mario Kart Wii. Yes, thank you for not seeing. <laughs> but I handle it. No, but I just wanted to do this because I thought, hey, look, I thought this is a very special episode and I thought I want to do this now. Uh, I was going to do a face reveal at 100 episodes, uh, look, when I get 100 subscribers, but I thought this is a really good time to do so. Nonetheless, I'm going to make my way to the first start now. I don't want to waste any time. This could be a very big episode. I sort of wanted to do kind of a not live, live stream kind of feel, this one. Uh, so, yeah, so make sure to put any... Uh, so since I'm going to be premiering this, if you are here for the premiere, the chat box is to the right, so make sure to put any chat, or make sure to say hi to me in the chat. <laughs> Okay, so, we're going to be straight on heading off with number 10 here. And uh, number 10 is Wing Mario over the rainbow. So, I'm sort of pretty good at this star, I'm not going to lie. I don't find this star too difficult, of course it is in the top 10, so it is a hard star, of course. But doing this in one shot is hard. It is, no doubt, it is very, very difficult, I'm not going to lie. And if I react, and also want to do it, and I... Guys, also, I wanted to also do a um, face reveal for this as well, just because I wanted to um, get my reactions into if anything happens here. Like, I probably could die a couple of times here. And I'm not going to be too shocked if that happens. So, yeah. Oh, uh, shoot. I need to get another wing cap, because I'm going to run out of this. So, just so you know, guys, I'm going to be doing these pretty much the way it's meant to be done, all these stars. I'm not going to try any speedrun routes really that uh, that much. I'm just going to be doing these very, very casually and just to make, just sort of reinforce the fact that these are hard to do if you're trying to do this in the first try. So, yeah. So, yeah, one-shotting these is no, no, but no joke, guys, for sure. Alright. Alright, I need to get to the very top. Okay. Oh yeah, guys. I'm uh, just, I'm just gonna get. Oh, well, we've got five coins so far, so I need another three. So there's one here. I know there's one on the pole underneath that cloud I was just on. Yeah, there's one here. Oh, I think I lost it. I, I remember doing. I think I did this stuff for you guys on my last episode of Super 64. Uh, I sort of do regret uh, making the Super 64 video, but I'm glad it wasn't... I, I sort of have my regrets of doing Super 64 series in the end of the day, because... Um, well, and that's for a couple of reasons. So, or, also, I'm also am happy I did that, just because it was the first series I ever did on the channel, and so I didn't want to, like... I just wanted to test out how YouTube works as well. Okay, I'm way too far down for whatever reason it is. I thought it was a good way to also test out your YouTube works. Okay, I'm gonna run out of wing cap. This is bad. This is bad. It's bad guys, this is bad. Better go. Better go. Come on. Okay, now we're good. I must have refilled somewhere. Okay, maybe I did. I don't know. I thought I was about to run out of wing cap or something. I don't know. I was afraid I was gonna shoot out the cannon, run out of wing cap, and we're dead. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm, I'm glad I, I got. In the end, it was a very, it was just a test run, uh, Super, my Super 64 series, it was, I was all on the 3DS, it was all done by a 3DS camera, so the quality was pretty bad, I must admit, but now that I know how to get better quality, I'm happy with how I'm doing this. But I'm very, I, I very much regret as well, guys, doing the, 
Super 64 Randomizer series. I'm regretting ever starting that series. And because I've realized on YouTube, there's so many videos on Super 64 Randomizer. For a ROM hack, is a lot. I, I reckon that that ROM hack itself is probably the most videos on YouTube. If not, I reckon a lot of Super 64 ROM hacks do have um, a lot of YouTube videos. Like Super 64 Star Road, I assume would be up there, up there. But no matter. Anyway, so that was number ten. I managed to do it in the first go. Alrighty. <laughs> So there's going to be a fair few red coin missions, as you could tell, and there's also going to be a... It's not going to be too many hundred coin missions. And, and I will explain why. Because I don't think the hundred coin missions are really that difficult to do on one go. There's a lot of coins in most of the... Most of these levels have a lot of coins, like maybe up to 130, up to 140 coins. So really... You, as long as you don't try anything too risky, I suppose, with your coin collecting, you should be able to do it in one try, not that, without any um, worries. Alright, so next one we're going to be doing is the red coins in Shifting Sand Lane. Now, I feel like this is a really difficult one to do, especially if you're doing this game for the first time. If you're playing this game for the first time and you're trying to one-shot this star, it probably will not happen. Because, honestly, some of these red coins are in really, really hard spots. Like, that red coin just there, it's very easy to slip up and then just fall into this instant death sand. And because there's a lot of instant death areas around here as well. Sure, the ones in the sky are not very hard. If you, go, if you have the wing cap, it's not going to be that hard of a stage. But I think the ones near the tox boxes also can be a bit of a problem, especially if you end up... I think I remember in Super C4 Randomizer, I once long jumped and then I just bonked straight into a tox box and then just instantly died. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I would say this star is pretty difficult in the end of that. There's some of you may disagree with that, but I, I... I mean, for me, it's not that difficult. But I think just some of these red coin spots are just in really, really difficult spots in the end of that. And I find, it, I find that really just contributes to the hardness of this one. And, and look, there's a lot of instant death quicksand around this stage, so it's very easy to die on this stage in general. So, yeah. So I think you're also going to put that into account as well. Nope. Did not get it. Alright, I know the flying bit isn't hard, but I think this is all the coins on the ground. Uh, it can be a little difficult. Sure, you could just fly around the areas and just go over coins that way. I understand that, but still, that's also pretty risky. I find. Okay, right, we're good. And I know the star spawns at the start. Yeah. So I'm using 120 star file, uh, if you guys already didn't know, so I'm, I've already got every star, yeah, I'm just using a file that you, oh, well, I've already got every single star in this game already. So, yeah. So all the stars are going to be here blue, therefore. I'm going to make it! I'm going to make it! Oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, come on! Get up there! Thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool, excellent. And that is that one. Cool. So I'm pretty sure the next one I think is going to be Bowser in the Fire Sea. Yes, yeah, Bowser in the Fire Sea is the next one. I just got to remember the list I've made as all. Well. I just hope for you at all. Hopefully I remember it really well. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, so Bowser in the Fire Sea. And literally, guys, all the Bowser ones I've, I've put in the top 10. Because I think these are the hardest red coin missions in the game. No joke. I, I, I find these red coin missions probably the hardest in the game. They're very easy to stuff up. And I, I, I put this one probably the easiest of the red coin missions because there's no instant death areas. It's just all lava. <laughs> which you can recover from. But if you make any mistake on the other two Bowser ones, you're pretty much dead. <laughs> So, yeah. Alrighty, uh. Do... 
But yeah, I do this all the time in my speed run for Super 64, so this isn't a very hard start in my opinion. Uh, so, for me personally. But, I look, the start I find is pretty easy. But, I don't see any, like, anyone doing this style in one go. At all. Like, I don't, this is one, all the Bowser ones I don't see anybody doing in one go. But I, I will be fair, I don't see anyone doing any of these in one go. And that's mainly because these Bowser levels are hard. Like, these Bowser levels are not easy. I'm not, I'm not even going to remotely say they are. If you, if you guys say they are easy, you, you'll... May, look, maybe easy for some, but... What <laughs> the heck, the boy just went right through the platform. That was weird. But what was I saying? I, I think, um... Yeah, I, I think these Bowser levels are some of the hardest bonus stars in the game. Uh, I'll be, or probably the other hardest stars in the game. Or just, even like, even just traversing these levels for the first time would be a challenge. It would be a challenge. Like, trying to get through all these levels for the first time, I find would be really difficult. So yeah, in the end of the day, even in a normal, like, even if I did, like, a casual play for this game, I probably could end up dying. Especially this part. I find this part probably the really, like, really... Sometimes this part I can pretty much die pretty easy. You can, you can mess that up pretty easily and just get loved many times. But yeah, at the end of the day, I, I might question whether or not... I don't know which is harder, this one or Sifting Sandland, I don't know. I don't even know if Wing Mario the Rainbow is... Um, harder than... I, I would say probably Wing Mario the Rainbow might be harder than... Uh, if we find for red coins in uh, Sifting Sandland, but I, I don't actually know. <laughs> Alright, so there we go, we got that one now, so yay! Okay, so next one was, speaking of Over the Rainbow, we're going Rainbow right now. <laughs> we're, we're literally getting the star called Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Now, now yeah, now, I, I, now I, I put this one on the list, and I, I probably should have, could have put, I probably could have put, um, Cruiser on the list as well, but I don't think Cruiser, getting to the Cruiser, I don't think is that difficult in the end of the day. It could, I mean, look, I'm sure everyone who played Rainbow Ride the first time couldn't even get to the Cruiser at all. <laughs> so let alone you have to actually do, actually have to get to the Pink Bomb, when then get to the Cruiser, and then get to, then shoot yourself to the star, without getting chucked off the cliff by the Chukya, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can all agree this is a hard start. <laughs> anyway, so I was going to use speed run routes, so I'm just going to do this normal way, which is using the darn carpets. Yay! But even so, I, I'm look. This is a pretty hard level. In the end of the day, there's so many instant death areas. There's so many easy ways to fall off the cliff. But I don't. I think this one. I've only had. I've only think two. Two of the stars on this one are probably I put in my top ten. If remember right, I put in top ten. And same with TikTok Pop, there's only two stars in there I put in my top ten as well. And you'll see what they are eventually. But yeah. But again, if anyone did this oh you know, sorry, got the wrong way. If anyone did this star in one go, I would be very impressed. <laughs> And I mean one go is like when you first play the game and do this in one go. I I I would be super impressed. Sure, I don't find it that it's probably not that difficult seeing you have to look look just staying on the carpets isn't that difficult. But even getting this even getting to this bomb, I find that pretty difficult. Like the, like you need to master your wall kicks here, otherwise you're never gonna get to this bomb at all. And so that could be just a little bit irritating. But I'm not basing this list on how hard they are, how long or time consuming they take, I'm more basing this list on how easy it is to do on the first go, and that's just that. Or how many goes it would theoretically maybe take to get the stuff. Like, we might the rainbow as well, like... Like, sure, I'm not basing it on... Like, you, sure, if I was basing it on... on if I was basing this list on how many times I expect you to die, like Wing Mario over the Rainbow wouldn't even be on the list, because when you fail Wing Mario over Wing Mario the Rainbow, which is the one I just did before, you don't even die. Like, you just end up just getting sent back outside the castle. Which I know is trolley, because, yeah, you have to get, have to get the... have to walk all the way back up to the tower in order to... 
Get the boo, get on it. Oh no! Stupid Lakitu! Oh, that sucks. Oh, there you go. I think that was the first mistake today. <laughs> Here you go. Hey guys, look, if I, do, if I do every single star in this game without dying, I'll be amazed. <laughs> Because these are the different top 10 hardest stars. But yeah, I have decided this guy in this episode is going to take a long time to. Um, uh, this episode is going to take a, is going to be a long episode. Uh, I apologize for that because it will be. Uh, just I, I only got what this is what this is number seven on the list. We've already been like 20 minutes, so I could expect this to nearly go for about 45 minutes. End of the day, especially some of the later stars, I'm probably gonna not do one go either. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to edit this. Uh, pretty much, I didn't want to like cut anything out. Just because I said I wanted to make this feel like a live stream. So, in a sense, it was like I got to show you how you guys how, how to do these harder stars really professionally as well. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what number 11, if I was considering a number 11 on my list, I don't know what it would have been. Um, because I don't even know, I don't know what star just barely didn't make the list. It might have been a, a 100 coin star, maybe. I could see maybe Tall Tall Mountain or Cool Cool Mountain just barely missing the list in terms of 100 coins. And that's just because you have to do the slide pretty much perfectly. On both levels. So, yeah. Because you got to get a lot of coins on that slide, so, yeah. Alright, we made the cruiser, alright. At least I've done that bit correctly. Now all I have to do now is get this other star. Now I have to make sure this cannon shot I get, and I also have to make sure the chuck ya on this platform here doesn't chuck me off. Otherwise that will make me very upset. Alright, here we go. Okay, good. Let's go the pole. Okay, good. Alright, cool. A chuck is just why why did they put a chuck in there, like honestly, at <laughs> the end of the day. That's just rude. <laughs> Alright, cool. Right, next one. Uh Bowser in the sky. Red coins. So next Bowser level. And I don't know, it's really I find this one it's either this one like the next two stars are gonna be Bowser in the Sky and Bowser in the Dark World. So he's the third, last Bowser and the third Bowser. And I don't know how difficult this would actually... I don't know how hard this star really is. Because honestly, these are the most hardest, cryptic to find red coins in the game. And no doubt, these definitely are. I'm not kidding you in that. But, hey, nonetheless, it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I find these stars very, very cryptic. Yeah, I'll say these red coins are very cryptic. So if you're first time playing this game, you would probably need a guide to even find all these red coins. Or just a lot of persistence, either way. Because look at this, look at this. You normally have this camera angle going, right? Well, then you have to... Who would have thought there's a red coin here? Like, goodness me. However, I will admit that well, the only thing that makes this start difficult is the fact that the red coins are hard to find. Now, I don't find... Overall, the stage is very difficult to die on, I would say. Just because of... I would say this level is... Not... It is very easy to survive because all you're going to end up doing is... More likely than not, if you fall down, you end up going to survive because you're going to, one of the platforms down below might catch you or something. So, nonetheless. <laughs> Alright, so I know for a fact. A couple more. Alright, I hope this red coin doesn't get a bit more trickle as usual. Okay, okay, good. Uh, right. Alright, there's no point doing that. I need the, the red coin here. Yeah. There's no really well hidden red coin. It's number one easy to miss. I mean there's at least three red coins. Three or four red coins that probably be easy to miss. In the deck. Okay, well, I seem to have done this in one go, so that's good. 
I, I, again, I, I can see people doing this in one go, just fine. I mean, it's just, it's just whether or not you just give up with the fact that you just can't find any of these red coins. Especially this real, real troll red coin, here we are. Yeah, that's like ROM hack trolling, that is, <laughs> under the stairs, yeesh. Just forget, I play a lot of ROM, it's not 64 ROM hacks, I know what <laughs> it feels like. <laughs> ah, I'm joking. Oh, okay, awesome. Alright, time for uh, Bowser 1. Now, I'm very good at this star now. I've done this star many times. I've speed on this game many, many times, so I shouldn't have any problem here. But uh, no, I, I reckon this is definitely the hardest one in the game. No doubt. If not the hardest red coin mission in the game. Not only have to get that one without getting hit by the fire, but then you have to make sure you get back quick enough so you can get this one as well from the switch, so yeah. I, I keep forgetting why there's even like a metal cap there at all. Like what's the point of having a metal cap there? Really, I really never understood that. I don't know, just get through the fire, I don't know. I suppose it would make that, I suppose it would make the darn task easy, the red coin mission easier with those first two coins, because then you wouldn't get flamed to death. I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's there for, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. So I'm using a bit of speed run strats apparently, because no one really would think to long jump from there to get to here, but... I don't know, I mean, that, I'd rather do that, I'd rather long jump to there rather than taking the skinny path over there, -ish. I think anyone would. But yeah, literally, you make any mistake on this course, you're just going to die. It's as simple as that. Wait, what did I get a life for? I just got a life. And I don't really know why. Wait, why is there so many lives here? Was, was, was there always this many lives here? <laughs> I, I don't remember there being this many lives here. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe it's because I've got 120 stars. I don't know. But I just find that really weird. Like, really weird. Alright. And look, and missing any red coins as well is just risky because then you have to go backward and then making any mistake going backwards as well will also kill you. So, yeah. I think you're dying. Whee! <laughs> oh, I died! <laughs> nah, I'm not joking. Alright. So, that was... That one. Uh, I think we've got... Mm, almost every... I'm just trying to think what the next one was. I don't think it was TikTok yet. Oh, okay, I know what it is. Yeah. So, I think I've gotten six so far. I, I'm not mistaken, I hope so, but I think the next one is definitely uh, Total Man. And I'm assuming you all know what star we're going to be getting here. Blast of the Lonely Mushroom, yes. This is the most ridiculous star in the entire game, I will admit. Now, of course, what I normally do to get the stars, I just use the Shy Guy up the top to uh, get to get stuff, to get this stuff, but I'm not going to do that this time. What you? But again, oh no! Ugh. Well, there you go. Stupid Monty Morris. I should have, I should have used the quicker way to get up there anyway. I don't know why I didn't. Ugh. I don't mean quits. I don't mean. I don't mean guys literally clipping through the darn mountain. Or I could do that for you. I'm not going to. I meant just going this way. Oh, again, the wind didn't want to win. Oh, man. Yep, definitely the hardest time again. <laughs> oh, why? I tell you what, the wind just does not want to work sometimes. I hate that so much. Oh, anyway, back to it. Anyway, as I said, this is probably the most cryptic star in the game. Not only do you have to... So, the first thing you have to do is you have to somehow... Oh, my God. How you guys going? Join the show? Oh yeah, good, because I'm not. 
dear. This is pathetic. <laughs> right, now, can I just go over here? Right, then you have to somehow miraculously know there's a pink bomb here. I don't know how you would ever find this, for one. Then two! Then you would have to know. And I remember when I first tried this stuff. I remember when I first tried this stuff. What I would normally try to jump to do was I would normally try to get, I would I would just try to jump down to that where that cannon is just by any means necessary. I would like probably just try to jump there from, I don't know. I would like go to that, with that mushroom and then try to jump down to there. And then I would just die over and over again because I wouldn't know how to get there. I think I did it once, but at the same time I still don't know. But no, what you actually need to do is you need to stand on this mushroom which will then teleport you to here. Again, how would you know that? I don't know. <laughs> and then, you got to make the most precise cannon shot in the world. <laughs> Alright. Like, you literally need to make this so precise. Like, this has got to be, like, dead on. And if you don't get it, you just die. So, yeah. Good luck. Good luck, mate. Alright, here we go. I have got it. Yes! Oh! <laughs> and that was a complete guess, can I just say? <laughs> Gosh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> happy, happy days, happy days. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't, I don't even know if this star is actually harder than that, that one, but it is a very time-consuming star. No pun intended, this is a time-consuming star. But the next, no, number three. I'm bringing you all up to number three at the moment. I, I still haven't, haven't missed a star, I'm trying to think, so, I think I'll just think about it. So, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get 100 coins, tick tock tock. So, honestly, if you were very, if you were wise, you would definitely do this. Okay, thanks bomb. <laughs> if you were wise, you would definitely do this using the, um, um, trying to think. You would definitely use the clock off because you what you need to do for this star is pretty much you need to get to the very top of the you need to just make sure you climb all the way to the top but with um um wait what was I said yeah I, look I think this star is debatable whether or not it's hard or not just because the fact of the matter is you can literally stop time in order to do this hundred point star. so you can literally stop the clock and I, I don't know I think that just makes this a lot more easier than I suppose it could be. Uh, I suppose in what it is meant to be, I don't know. But with the, I think the way they expected you to do it was with the clock stopped. And also make, because you need to get the red, you need to get at least a couple of red points in order to even make the start impossible. So, yeah. Oh, okay, lucky there. And also that happens. See, and also guys, look, if you fall down, again, you might be saved by the clock, you don't know. And especially with the clock being stopped, you're most likely not going to die. But, hey, look, I'm not saying it's not impossible to die here. I'm not saying that at all, alright? I'm not saying it's impossible to die on TikTok clock. I mean, if you've watched my recent Super Mario 64 randomizer video, you would know <laughs> that this is definitely not, not a stage where you want to give um, a bad word. Say it's easy, that's for sure. But anyway, as I, I myself don't find this stuff. I don't think the star is that hard, but I put it on number three because hey, if you're the first time, mate, and look, there's not many coins on this level in itself. I think there's only 120 or something. And some of these blocks with 10 coins, sometimes you can easily miss the. Uh... Oops, I can't see. Come on, Lucky, do your job. Okay. So, as I was saying, it, it's pretty hard to. It'd be pretty, it's pretty easy to miss some coins just through, if you hit the block and then just get some bad coin RNG or something, I don't know, just put in a, causing a lot of pain. Oh no! See, that's why I was like, give this level, no. See, see, I shouldn't be giving this level at all any, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> see, there you go. No, I don't want to die on the hundred coin stars as well, because then I have to do all that again. 
All right. There you go. Don't don't give any. Don't give this level any. Um, don't say this level's easy. There you go. That's, that's me. That's my involved story. It's just that, I, I think that jump is what makes this difficult, I suppose. Just that jump up to the um, um, area. That jump up halfway up the clock is just... I think that is what makes this really hard, because you have to do a side flip and then a um, double jump. And then, yeah, and then a jump or something. <laughs> So yeah, and apparently fucking that jump up gets you killed, as you just saw. So yeah, I'm not happy about that. But oh well. That's how this level, that's how this game goes, guys. So I'm gonna take you more time here than my speed run than I did the other day. <laughs> like the uh, Super Mario 64 Plus speed run. That's what I did. Which was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, I, and I probably will never. I don't. I don't really want to ever try that speed run again because that run was perfect. It was ridiculously perfect. I really couldn't believe how perfect I got that. Like for my skill level, the fact I even got 50. I got this game done within 50 minutes is kind of silly. <laughs> so I got. I got the. I got 70 stars in 50 minutes, and then I beat Bowser up pretty much perfectly. Yeah, I don't know. It was. A very, very good run in the end of the day. And I'm, I don't know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit upset about that because, yeah, I, I have no idea. Oh shoot, I forgot to get the blue coins. Oops, my bad. Right, I'll have to go back for that. I'm, I'm, I'm up here at this point, I don't want to go back for that now, but, yeah, I forgot the blue coins. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. If you miss too many blue coins in this level, you're pretty much stuffed. And I don't see the blue, and the blue coin switch, you can stuff up as well. Not, not undoable. I don't. I can see many people having stuffed that up before. I don't know if it's a lifeless 10 coins. It's a life, okay. So there's a lot of 10 coin blocks um, here at this part. Uh, up, up, up to the halfway point. Like, there's a lot, a lot. <laughs> okay, oh. So I don't remember how many coins there is for the um how many coins the blue coin switch gives you, but I know I'm about to get another 20 inch still, so I should be fine. Right now, where is that platform with the coin box there? Okay. Oi! She alright, that was a close. The comfort? Alright. Oh no! No, please! No! No! Oh, no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> hey, you guys enjoying the live stream? So, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be about an hour episode. This is gonna be something dumb. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. I was just trying to stay on the edge but I have to fall down through the middle. Oh my gosh. Get it! Oh, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> okay, right. Fine. This star's hard. Fine. Game. You want me to... Uh, fine. I did put it on the third spot for a reason. Okay, you're happy now, game. I admit, this is hard. Very easy to stuff up on this star. Alright, you happy? Good. Alright, good. <laughs> I admit, I surrender. I waste the right flag. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I, I'm gonna, I just, I just can't wait to read you guys in the chat going, "Wow, what a noob!" <laughs> Don't actually say that, please. <laughs> oh dear. Hey look, these are the top 10 hardest stars in the game. I wasn't expecting to do all of them in one shot. I would have loved to do all these in one shot, but apparently that's not how this game works. <laughs> and that's not how this works in general, I suppose. Alright, right, right blue points to do it. Right, you want to be in this view and then do that so that way you don't just slip off, because then you'll be 
not getting all the money and then you won't even come close to 100 points. I feel like Mario Cam is probably best for the stage. But well, that's debatable, I suppose. Hey, Lakitu just doesn't do a good job. Oh, no! Okay, we're not dead. Okay, we're not dead, though. Ooh, lucky, though. She. Alright. Just couldn't, I just can't get these wall kicks sometimes. These bonks. Man, you bonk on literally anything, you could die. I think it's because there's nothing, there's no like, there's nothing to land on if you fall down in the middle, you're just completely done. <laughs> I'm still trying to, I, I still need to remember, okay, so number 10 was Shifting Sand Land, Num I don't know, number 9 was Shifting Sand Land, number 10 was Wing Eye of the Rainbow, number 8 was Fire Sea, 7 was um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, 6 Oh my gosh! I can't get that wall kick, man. Six was... Um... Sky. Bows of the Sky. Yeah, five was... Dark World. Four was the Blast of the Lady Mushrooms. Three was this. Okay. Yep, so we're good, we're good, we're good. I, I, was, I was afraid I missed the star, but I don't know why I kept thinking that. For whatever reason, guys, I was thinking that. I don't know why. Man, I'm almost gonna run out of room on my uh, 3DS camera. I'll tell you what, it only takes. You can only film for about an hour at most. Oh my gosh, thank you. Right, can we finally get up to the top and finally get this stupid star? My gosh, I better hope we can. This has been ridiculous. I've been doing trying this stuff for at least a half, set, eight minutes now. No, no, it wouldn't be that long. So, but oh, maybe it was. I don't know. It was this that long? I don't know. Right, 87. I need to get to the top and that's it. I don't even need the one like... Wait, what's the one there? I don't know. I don't even need the one over there now. I've got money, so that's fine. Oh, I'll just get the one over here. Okay, there we go. Far out! <laughs> About darn time! Oh, now I can't get the stuff. Oh my gosh. There we go. Finally, got the darn hundred coin star. There you go. Far out. She. Oh, why did I do that for? I needed to die because I need to go back. Done. I need to go back and tick tock off. Alright, number two. And I reckon this is also going to cause me a bit of pain. Is stomp on the flop on the same course. Because that one, you actually have to... If you're going to do this one properly, you actually have to do the star. The way this one was intended, it was you had to do the star with the with the clock actually going. So, th and that was the intended way this was meant to be done, so yeah. Okay, so here we go. So I gotta get to the very top with this clock actually going. And that that is no, no easy task, guys. Let's be real, that is no easy task. As a lot can go wrong. But I've done this, um, I've done this, no, I don't know. I, don't, I usually do the star with the uh, clock off, but that's only because I use a speedrun strat and it wasn't, again, the way this was intended to be done was to have the clock actually on. So, yeah. And hey, I could have done this a crazy clock just to make this funny for you guys, but I've died enough as it is, I don't really want to die anymore. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've always should have done it with a crazy clock though. That wouldn't be funny. But this, look. If you're going to attempt to start, normally, normal players would just do it with the clock on normal speed, pretty much. I could have tried this on fast speed as well, but not. Go quick. Oi, she! Okay. Okay, I seem to be doing a lot better here, though. I seem to be going a lot quicker, though. But that's only because I'm not collecting coins as well. I suppose that's... Okay. <laughs> Oh, maybe this is easier than um, TikTok 100, I don't know. Alright, well now I'm going to get flame chomped and die, probably. Oh, great, this hand's going to take forever to get over here. Oh, this. 
Alright, and then we've only got one more after this, and then I'll end the episode there. But yeah, this has been going over 40 minutes now, so... Woo! Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Alright, cool. Ah, uh, you can't get me, Flame Shop, huh? Oh my gosh. Can't believe how... I can't believe how much time this took. I, I, I thought this was going to take half an hour, but no, this is going to, this is not taking so much longer than that. I can't speed on for squat now. <laughs> like honestly, this is going to take me just as long as me doing a speed run of this on Super Mario 64 Plus. <laughs> I was surprised. And look, guys, I would have, um, I would have done, I would have actually done a face review on that one as well. I would have loved to have done that face review on that one as well. It's just I couldn't do that. And the only reason I couldn't do that was because of, um... I had to use the 3DS camera to record the screen, so I couldn't actually record my face as well along with that. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed that speedrun. I really enjoyed that speedrun. I think that speedrun was really good, so I hope you guys... If you guys... It's really worth watching, and it's... In the day. I suppose I shouldn't be promoting myself, but I think that's one of my best Super Mario 64 video, along with this one, probably, in the end of the day. But... Hey, but... <laughs> But I, just, I know my Super 64 videos just don't get much love because there's so many Super 64 videos on YouTube they wouldn't really get, I wouldn't really get much notice. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do now is 100 coins, TikTok clock. Now, I'm oh sorry, where am I right? Where am I right 100 coins? Now, I don't know, I don't know really how hard this is going to be. Like, just getting 100 coins in general shouldn't be too bad, I guess. But I think this is definitely the hardest start in the game. No, no joke. Without question. I'm not, I'm not even questioning that at all. But I, I think this is definitely the hardest start in the game. Just because you have to pretty much go everywhere. I don't even know how many stuck coins there are in this level. I don't think there's that many. So I'm probably going to have to go pretty much everywhere. Maybe even cruise I'll have to go up to eventually. Which is going to suck. <laughs> And I think what makes this really hard, guys, is just this this part here. Uh, this blue coin box here. Which you need to make sure you get your wall kicks absolutely spot on perfect. If you miss this at all, then you're going to make this ten times harder on yourself. Pretty much if you miss this, you might as well just restart. Because look at that, look at that time limit, man. It gives you hardly any time to do it. Which is ridiculous. Alright, I'll just get all the red coins here just to get money. For money reasons, I guess. There we go, beautiful. There we go, don't just pay my way, that's nice. Beautiful, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright, we've got 75 points, so shit. Oh, okay, yeah, right. I think I'm going to go to the cruiser. Should I have gone to the... Or was the... I don't think there's enough money there. I, I think I'm just going to go to the cruiser. I think there's enough money. There should be enough money up there. Possibly. And even so, I don't know if there's 10 coins. At, I don't know if there's... Any, well, the chucky has got coins as well. So, yeah. So, I, 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 there should be enough money to cruise. I'm not making that up. Maybe. <laughs> oh, even if it's not, it, it won't matter. I'll just, I've got a backup plan for it. I've got, I've got, I've got a plan. Oh my goodness, all right, don't die, please. <laughs> I just need to make sure I don't die going to cruiser. That's all I'm a bit worried about. I still don't know if that can actually burn you or not. It looks like it can, but I still have no idea. <laughs> okay. So sorry guys, you had to see me go on the cruiser twice in one episode. I don't know if that was, but hey, whatever. Wait a oh, but yeah. And so again, guys, I think I'm just going to end up with saying, again, I'm not going to do many um, videos where I'm going to actually show my face. Uh, it's only going to be very special occasions like this one where I just wanted to see 
maybe any reactions or just any like I think just any of these like ones where I'm just gonna premiere I think I think that I think those ones are good to do well I can't unless they're just like these sort of like half live stream kind of ones I guess and look I might do the same thing for other ROM hacks as well if you guys want to see that let me know uh, I might do top 10 hardest stars for other ROM hacks as well but these episodes are always going to be very long so yeah so you so always expect these episodes to go a long time guys because yeah I, I'm not I'm not that amazing at the game and these are hard stars so you know I'm not expecting to get all the hard stars in a very quick amount of time keep the points mute Right now, don't stuff this up. I know the um, tricky triangle is just below me. Yeah, okay, so. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that was me on the coin route. Yeah, I know, weird. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you made it all the way through. I hope you guys were busy in the chat. I hope you just, I hope I've got a few of you guys watching this during the premiere, but I, I don't know. We'll see how we go later on. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Super 64 randomizer videos, and also stay tuned for more. Five Nights at Freddy's videos, I'm always posting Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, and I'm so thankful so much, and I might just say this now, thank you so much guys for all the amazing views, I've, the amount of views I've gotten on the Five Nights at Sonic's video, I'm going to say this many, many times probably on my channel, but just the amount of times i got, how many views i got on the Five Nights at Sonic's, um, all folk, all video, the fact that it went to, the fact that it's got nearly 6,000 views, I still can't believe. The fact it's gotten me 30 subscribers or so, it's just been incredible. And for the fact that my second best view count probably of any other episode, guys, any other video is around 150, and I think that's just me beating 630 hard mode on 5 Sucks 5, so yeah. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed my 264 videos, and I hope you guys continue to keep watching my 264 videos as well. See you guys. Thanks again so much for watching.